Hello everybody, welcome to Myths with PJ. Today's date is May 1, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on desire. In 1 Kings 8.58 May he give us the desire to do his will in everything and to obey all the commandments and instruction he has given to our ancestors. Isaiah 62.12 And they shall be called the holy people and the lands redeemed and Jerusalem shall be called the land of desire and the city God has blessed. In Acts 19.4 Then Paul pointed out to them that John's baptism was to demonstrate a desire to turn from sin to God and that those receiving his baptism must then go on to believe in Jesus the one John said would come later Colossians 3 3 you should have a little desire for this world as a dead person does your real life is in heaven with Christ and God Hebrews 5, 7 Yet while Christ was here on earth, he pleaded with God, praying with tears and agony of soul to the only one who would save him from premature death. And God heard his prayers because of his strong desire to obey God at all times. What I'm getting here is God will give those who keep the commandments what they desire. The Israelites were called the holy people and Jerusalem the land of the sun. After being baptized by the Holy Spirit, it helped Paul to completely believe and live for Jesus. Our real life is in heaven with Jesus. As we pray, God hears us and has a strong desire for us to obey him. I want to thank you today, and today is Sunday, and I'm praying that you will go to a church and have a blessed day. God bless.